Health experts say that the second surge related to the coronavirus pandemic could be a mental health crisis from rising unemployment rate and financial anxiety to the stress of the stay at home order. Many have a lot to be worried about. So Tom Royer, he's the president and CEO of Beachbrook. He joins us now with some of the mental health options that are out there. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for being with us. I want you to first explain what Beachbrook is, what you guys do and how you're handling those dealing with the stress of COVID-19. Uh, Beachbrook is a 168-year-old behavioral health organization, and like everybody else, we've had to take many precautions due to the pandemic, but we continue to work and serve people in the community uh, meeting their behavioral health needs. So health experts are talking about the second surge that we keep hearing about, uh, but many are, are saying that it's going to be more of a mental health crisis. So a lot of people act as if they're doing okay with all this stress and they're really not. So where do you see the biggest concerns? Well, I think the second wave probably started shortly after the first wave of the pandemic started. Um, overnight, our entire lives changed and that, that drives a lot of stress and anxiety, uh, anger and fear. Um, and that coupled with isolation um, can really cause some behavioral health issues to surface. Uh, relationships become strained a lot of folks are dealing with the loss of jobs, loss of income, maybe lack of basic needs. Um, so we see uh, the second wave really beginning right now, but after we start moving a little bit more toward back to normal, I guess, uh, we will see a, a wave of mental health issues. Tom, what's your advice? Uh, you, we were, you were just speaking about isolation. Those who are being isolated, I mean, every age is being affected to young kids not being able to socialize, to the teenagers and seniors who are missing out on huge events in their life. What is some of your advice? We've been hearing from doctors, but to hear from you guys and, and where you should start noticing some things and, and in the home, try and help make a difference, maybe even as a parent. Yeah, uh, first of all, um, start with the basics. Make sure that you're eating as well as you can eat. Make sure that you're keeping some sort of routine. Get enough sleep every night. Make sure that you're exercising. Um, spend some time reaching out to other people if you can. Um, it's also a really good time to uh, take stock of what's going on in your life. Really, we're all starting out with a clean slate and we are unlikely to ever have an opportunity like this again to really look at those things that are in our life and what we want to bring forward as we move back into a more normal situation. Beachbrook talks about this steps method. Can you kind of tell our viewers a little bit about what that's about and maybe people can suddenly start to break that down at home? Uh, well, we have a number of videos that you can access on our website, which is www.beachbrook.org. And um, we have many uh, kind of self-help videos where you can learn how to manage some of your anxiety, how you can help your children manage their anxiety through uh, the pandemic and through isolation. Um, I have a lot of my friends that are actually reaching out to me every day asking about what they can do with their kids mm -hmm. to help them manage through the homeschooling, which can be very frustrating. Um, and difficult for some folks. And it can be frustrating for the parents too. Sure, May is Mental Health Month. So if you have questions, it's okay. It's actually healthy to reach out and ask somebody. You guys are there, so you can and call anytime. Is that right, Tom? You can call 24 hours a day, okay. yes. Awesome, Tom available. Royer. Tom Royer, President and CEO of Beachbrook. Thank you for being with us, shedding a little bit of light on this. Thank you. Appreciate it.